Time is everything. We seem to never have enough of it and are always running out of it. We are running against time. We cannot wait until we are grown up or old enough to vote to make a difference. We do not have that luxury. It is about time we start listening, acting, changing. Everything is happening right now, in our lifetimes. Our childhoods are disrupted by subtle earthquake tremors, rising sea levels, hurricanes, tidal waves, melting ice. We are constantly hearing stories about whales washing up on shores, their entire bellies filled with plastic. Or what about the pictures of that one polar bear on a tiny block of ice? Or that albatross bird cut up with microplastics inside. Now, having said that, it is not all gloom and doom. We are also living in a time where the innovation is here, technology is here, solutions are just around the corner, ready to be seen and heard. So, ladies and gentlemen, adults, sorry for being so direct, but for us youth, it is all about time. Nobody wants to lose Mother Earth as we know, see, smell, and love her today. And already we are starting to hear the good stories too. Think about what's happening right now with the indigenous people, with all their unique differences, standing together to protect our waters and fight against the Dakota pipeline. Young changemakers creating technologies to clean the world's oceans from marine debris. Another youth group suing the government for not taking care of our environment for future generations. And our own Bye Bye Plastic Bags. It has not only become a message by kids to say no to single-use plastic bags, but it's also become a movement of youth empowerment. Us kids may only be 25% of the world's population, but we are 100% of the future. Our names are Malati and Isabel. We are sisters, born and raised on Bali. And we stand here today in front of you, partly dressed in our traditional clothing called kabaya, in combinations with jeans. And we have chosen to wear the kabaya today as we want to pay our respect and love for all Indonesian women today here on stage. The jeans underneath it represent the change. Four years ago, when we were 10 and 12, we were inspired by a lesson in class of significant people. People like Nelson Mandela, Lady Diana, Mahatma Gandhi, and Martin Luther King. And later that day, we started brainstorming how we, as children, could give our contribution to a better world. We looked at all of the issues Bali was facing, such as overdevelopment, infrastructure, water issues, garbage, now, that was the one thing that stood out to us the most. But we know that garbage is a huge problem. So we decided to look into what was a realistic target for us kids. Making the people on the island of Bali say no to single-use plastic bags became our mission. And through these four years of campaigning, we have gone on a crazy journey with many lows and many highs. And today, Bye Bye Plastic Bags has become a well-known youth movement in Bali, Indonesia. We have become the inspiration of the Bali airports to become a plastic bag-free zone within the next 12 months. And we are the force behind the commitment of the government to make Bali plastic bag-free by 2018. <laughs> and we have become a global wave of positive change. Often people ask us, how do you do this? Or how did we get to where we are today? And looking back now, it has a lot to do with commitment, hard work, Lots of challenges, but also lots of fun, successes, and thinking outside the box. And of course, education is the key for everything. We go to the best school on earth, Green School. Green School is not only different in the way that it is built out of bamboo, but also in the way that it teaches. We are taught to become leaders of today. 
But back to Bye Bye Plastic Bags and how we got to where we are in 2016. Within our team, we carry four main pillars of focus. Now, we already mentioned that education is key, as we believe that this is where the change will happen. We have created an educational booklet of 25 pages in the Indonesian language in which elementary students can learn about the plastic problem and solutions. On the note of inspiration, we have spoken to over 15,000 students in 10 different countries in five different languages, and we hope we have inspired a few. Raising awareness in the public and government. This is what most of our team members like doing. Here we go to the markets, the festivals, we sell our shirts, hand out stickers, organize beach cleanups, and a lot more. We also attend meetings on a regular basis with stakeholders and government bodies to make sure that they do not forget their commitment and to remind them that 2018 is coming soon. We also run a pilot village, and every Saturday we go into our pilot village and distribute alternative bags to the local shops and warungs. Going global is next, and this is a personal favorite because this shows and proves all the more that kids can do things. We can lead the way. Young people from all corners of the world were the ones reaching out, sending emails, saying, hey, I want to bring bioplastic bags back to where I come from. So today you can find bioplastic bags in nine different countries, from Australia, New York, Myanmar, Nepal, China, Guadalajara, Philippines, Tenerife, and even our Ibu Kota of Indonesia, Jakarta, all driven by youth. And so you can imagine we have learned a lot, things that a normal textbook can never match, such as teamwork and leadership, patience and the importance of breathing in, and out, planning, communication, logistics, a lot more about politics in Bali and the Balinese culture. So change is already here. In fact, the timing for change has never been better than right now. We are more than ready to start listening, acting, changing, because we are shaping history today. All we have to decide now is what side of history we want to be a part of. We know, and you do too. Thank you. Thank you.